deal with airplane peanuts. I've noticed that a lot of comedians are good actors, dramatic actors. Yeah. Ooh, you dramatic, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. there is a, a real dark and sadness to them and then oh, yeah. they can tap into it. You don't think you get funny from having a great life. Well, I had a great life. Did you? Yeah. And that's the sadness of it. <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted some challenge in life. Yeah. You know? And yet I was handed yeah. everything. Yeah. Bummer. Well, you are really tall and that's Damn. not fair. I am tall. I'll tall tell people privilege. that people will see him on stage and they'll, they'll think, hey, I didn't know he was that tall. Yeah. And I'll say, well, I didn't know you existed. Yeah. yeah. You know, so too shy. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like that? He said took care of yeah. him. Yeah. Not just me. Now think so. about it now, you two girls, right? You know what you guys remind me of right now, right? <laughs> Fili Filipino versions of the fucking two girls in The Shining. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. And that's what kind you are of. right now. Let's, yeah. You kind of yeah. look like them, yeah. too. Yeah. 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 You ever seen The Shining? No. Look at them right, right there. That's them. Okay, that's is, you two. This is you two right now. <laughs> that's who you should have been for you Halloween. Two, <laughs> this is what you two are right now, right, dude? And I, I don't fuck. You're scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> right? Instead of the, like that hotel, where would it be, though? Well, then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just gave you a song. You didn't, you didn't swing. Why didn't you swing at that? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The audience knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is you guys. That's you guys right there. Because okay. you guys sound similar. You talk in the same. You t talk, You have the same intonation when you talk. Yeah. And I. That's just like these little creepy girls. Like I bet you, if I can say at the same time to say a number one through ten, you'll say the same number. No. Okay. On the count of three, say the number one through whichever number you're thinking one through ten. One, two, three. Four. Seven. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> That didn't work. It did not work. That didn't work. It did not work. That was crazy. What you? Well, just we can did. do it again. Ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait. We should look at each other. No. No. It's got to be just telepathic. You just have to yeah, know. Yeah. Yeah. You have to know that okay. you're thinking. You're both thinking of the same number at the exact same time. You're both sisters. You're blood. There's a connection. Bobby and I have the same connection. Yeah. What about one second glance? Yeah. A Andrew, we do. We we have the same connection. Yeah. Uh, ready? <laughs> yeah. One, two, three. Nine. Two. Whoa! Whoa! That's you. You and I. One, you did, two, three. 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 <laughs> ah! Wait, you did something. No, no we, we didn't. Do it again. Do it again. No, we did. no, we can't do it again. It's a one. <laughs> one no, to take no, no, a connection, all right? All right. All right. All right. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Five. No. Oh, no. Shit. Oh, shit. oh, my God. Now you guys do it. One, two, three. Four. Nine. See, you're happy. You don't have it. All right. We can do it. Ready? We can do it. One, one two, two, three. Two. Oh, 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 oh shit. Oh, that's shit. why this show that's is how, good. That's why we're connected. <laughs> <laughs> and we should take that to Vegas. Dude, that was good. I can't fucking believe it. We might be connected. That was you know, really good. You, know, you, know, you, know, you, you want to try again? Yeah, you ready? One, One two, two, three, three six. six. No! No! <laughs> In your face. <laughs> We're good. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We are very so good. good. Today, I was, I was in a coffee shop, and I saw they had, they added, unfortunately, the, like, that new fucking, like, sign of, like, science is real, love is love. We, in this house, we Around believe. Here? No, this is, this uh, was right. in my Philadelphia. I'd go put a brick. <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude, and I was sitting there just kind of like, dude, it's literally, you know, like, you see a crucifix now, and you're just like, nah, crucifix. That's, yeah. like, new crucifix now. Like, people have, it's, like, charged, and it's, like, yeah, this is our thing. And I was I was getting so unsettled. Whoa. I'm going to ask them, like, can you take that down, please? It's making me uncomfortable. That's fucking yeah. weird. So, because, dude, the thing they don't put on there is, like, and also, if you disagree, you're a fucking piece of shit. Sure. Fuck you. I hope you fucking die. I mean, it's really implied when you say science is real. Yeah, dude. It's like, yeah. Dude, I was wincing. I was in line just going, Ugh. and the lady's like, can I help you? And I was like, Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. How often? I wonder how often she sees that face throughout the day. Looking at that sign? Yeah, just like, Ugh. It is funny, because the science is real is in the room. And then behind the register is a girl who's in her 20s that has crystals. <laughs> it's like, we're in fucking retard land. I Sorry I said that word. <laughs> That's a good point. Are there any milk crates at your parents' house at the moment? Oh, I, uh, no, but you don't know about the bags? You bag oh, milk. Oh, bag bags milk, milk up there. Bag of milk. Bag which milk. Is delicious. It's milk. Yeah, I'm not. We used to be a big milk family. Where do you family. put the bag in the refrigerator? They give you like the. I don't know how to do it up there. In, 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 how do you put a bag of milk? How liquid? do you know about bag milk? Be Look at him. What do you mean? <laughs> he has a bag of milk. I resent that. I'm ambiguous to that comment. Um, <laughs> I'm amphibious to your insults. <laughs> in here, put the top back on it. <laughs> Oh, 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 I love
love this new angle of birthday gifts. It's fun, right? To give people stuff that they can't keep. <laughs> <laughs> This is a new look, huh? Yeah. You decided to keep your fucking gigantic helmet on through the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, kind of makes my head even bigger than it already is. Yeah, kind of definitely does. <laughs> I love this. I didn't know there was a fucking South Korean Power Ranger. This is very exciting. <laughs> is, is that GoPro on? No. I think I forgot to turn it on. <laughs> real. That would have been a great idea. Yeah, a real missed opportunity there, Hans. <laughs> Wow. Oops. Hans Kim, I feel like you right now look like the Mortal Kombat character whose finishing move only works on women. <laughs> <laughs> Finisher. I never I can never finish with women, but uh, yeah, Hans Kim. Hans Kim's in the fucking zone. How do you feel, Hans? How's this week been for you? It's been amazing, Tony. I went to New York City with you. Yeah. I felt like the prince of New York with my <laughs> With my to daddy Tony. <laughs> <laughs> you did good. We had good work. Four crazy ass sold out shows. Easy breezy. Ate a lot. Rested a lot. Yeah. Ate a lot of Italian food with we you. Did. We did. We did. We did the fucking tourist trap. We were like little boy blue in his fucking Gary Clark hat over here. Fucking. <laughs> we did the tourist. Oh, this guy's poor guy. I'm watching his soul leave his body. It's incredible. <laughs> Oh, he's fucking red and bullied right now. I love it. Man, that guy's headwear is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I've been through this before. I've been too mean to people on this stage before. I feel like this guy's going to put out a video that's just tightly edited of mean stuff and say, this is what this guy said to me during South Carolina Heritage Month. <laughs> <laughs> My sweet, sweet Hans Kim. Uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun in New York. At one point, I'll tell you guys this, a little inside information. Hans Kim closed the door in the green room and went pee, and it was so fucking loud. It was incredible. I don't think I've ever heard a pee stream quite as powerful as yours. Are you aware that you have a strong pee stream? Me and William were laughing very hard on the other side of the door. I've heard this mentioned before to me. Now, do you think it's because you have a big penis or a big pee hole? Because it sounded like you're hung, which is also your middle name, so that's pretty cool. Hans Hung Kim. By the way, I, I want to just make an turkey announcement to the Hey Babe fans. I will not eat a ounce of turkey on Thursday, so don't tag me in pictures of it. If you see me Why in the not? streets of Staten Island, don't even fucking Why? mention because you vegan. There's turkeys. No, there's turkey. Turkeys, wild turkeys, live in my neighborhood. No, it's crazy. You'd be driving down like the boulevard in Staten Island. There's like legitimate wild turkeys everywhere. And when you live around turkeys, first of all, what turkeys do is the reason why they they congregate around deer. They eat the deer shit. And when you see them, they are disgusting. Turkeys are turkeys are disgusting is that animals right? eating shit. And they go, Ooh! they'll like literally walk up to my door and they go, Ooh! like, and if you go out the window, if you go, Ooh! they'll go back, kind of like wow. the guys at the bars in Staten Island. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every time Delilah's reading Brenda Needs a Beaver, I go, ooh. <laughs> it does sound like what Staten Island guys would call gays. A couple of wild turkeys over there. <laughs> One time I was in Pittsburgh, and um, we all went out, and then we came back to the hotel, and somebody had uh, robbed the hotel, which oh, is really wow. like robbed the hotel. And we're like, what did they take? Like the little soaps and stuff like that? Like did they take all that little yeah. stuff yeah. that you take out? But they like basically came in and was like, can I help you? And they robbed the hotel. I was like, how cool is that? You know, like wow. just to like the guy behind the counter, like, you know, because we all know late night at yeah. the hotel, they have that the Indian dude yeah. sleeping the in the back security thing where you have to like buzz in. The I buzz. Guess that was before that. It's the Indian family yeah. behind the desk. Yeah. The guy comes out at three in the morning in his pajamas. Yes. Like, hey, hey what's up? Guy. He's cooking something <laughs> yeah. in the back. Yeah. You can smell the ramen or whatever. <laughs> Good time. Good time. Yeah. Harry kind of bully made a doc about that guy. It did not go well for him. Very difficult. Uh, yeah, Ooh, I miss a poo. What are we gonna do? I like a nice residence in. I like a place. Do you like do, it? I like where you can do your laundry. Middle of the road is the best because yeah. the four seasons is too much. Because the Wi Fi is eighteen dollars. The breakfast is ninety. Yes. You don't want to hate. Can I say this? Jews? Yeah. Can I just be honest? <laughs> no. The W. I can't stand the W. I hate the W. I'm with you. It's, really? It's, you talking about women? <laughs> <All right. laughs> 
the W is That's a little a over the top. Who is the sponsor? Yeah. Guys, 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 sponsor guys, 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 guys. Too much neon. <laughs> guys, guys. The W is too much neon. Yeah. There's like, there's like, oh, look, there's a telescope next to your bed. And, or, right. or like a, an Etch-A-Sketch or whatever. It's, it's <laughs> right. stupid. The most overrated hotel chain. Agreed. I agree. I agree. Keith Man. Robinson is his favorite hotel chain. And I tell him he's... Tr- I, I, I've said to Keith, <laughs> you are the most black, white, trash human being I've ever met in my life. Do you think that W is a good You didn't one? have to say it after, right after a second stroke, I didn't think. Oh. Right? You know, a, hey, different strokes. <laughs> right. Different folks. Uh, for the same folks. But he loves a W. And I'm I like, feel like slapping you, Joe, because I know he can't. <laughs> no, no, no. With one side, he can't. <laughs> you're, saying he's, you're saying he's half, he's white, trash, and black? No, Which no, no. side do you think is white trash? Probably the side that's, that's still here. working. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Dave. I'm nice. I'm with I you did that there, for man. you. I, I knew did. what you were doing. <laughs> right. 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 I get it. All right. Yeah. For some reason, we used to get a ton of like free Monster Energy drinks to the house, and Adam would drink them like every morning, like every afternoon, and then that was the when we like discovered what um, what is it when you get the rocks in your dick? Oh, uh, 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 kidney stones. stones. Yeah, stones. Yeah, he dude. got stones. Yeah. No. Yeah, I had to look in his pee hole. Like, no, I did not. What do it look that. like, dude? It's a flashlight. He's like, it's in there. I swear. Keep looking. I don't see it. If you kiss it, sometimes the stones will come out. Oh. All right, I'll just suck on it until the stones come out, man. Come yeah, just on. suck, just suck on it till all Ow. the kidney stones come out. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. I never. Whew. Yeah. That's My dad had straight. him one time. Now, did Adam have him? Do, did he have him? Um, you know, they break him up, right? Like they do this thing where they can break him up. Yeah, they like him. have to like. <laughs> yeah, they massage your cock. <laughs> kind of right like up. one of those glow sticks where you crack them. To yeah, activate you have to crack them. the cock in half and <laughs> smack it. You have to smack it a few and times. Then you pepper grate it. <laughs> <laughs> Say when. <laughs> the Northeast is just better. The Northeast. I love it. I was just a of section what? of the world. Come on. I think the Northeast might be the best section of the world. Get all the seasons. Every season. The food's awesome. Good accents, good sports teams, culture, history. Yep. Good you know, sense like, of humor, too. Good, good sense, sense of humor. humor. The Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic the Atlantic Ocean. Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> dude, dude, fuck. I got to <laughs> put my toes in the water? Yeah. I think the Northeast United States and the Northeast part of Canada, dude. <laughs> Fucking Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia's gorgeous. <laughs> Halifax. Nova Scotia's Halifax. all right. Halifax. Halifax. <laughs> Prince Edward Isle, get the muscles up Prince there. Prince Edward Isle, get muscles. I mean, yeah. seriously, what part? what's a better part I'm of the world fan. than the Northeast? I love, I do love, I mean, we've really gotten over the past whatever, like, year. We've really traveled and got to see a lot of cities, a lot of places. They've went to, like, beautiful. Cincinnati. And, <laughs> yeah. They're like, we really got Shout out, out there. To Cleveland. Yo, did you know there's another part of the U.S. <laughs> on the West? They use different money out there. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about anal? <laughs> I've never felt like your arm was longer. <laughs> it's like a 3D what, movie, I don't know isn't what it? The it's fuck crazy. That thing comes at you. Got a I've dodge. literally never experienced anything like that. Yeah, um, he's Voldemort. It's like fucking Uncle Sam. How do you feel about it? <laughs> like a fucking Ripley's uh, Believe It or Not yeah, illusion. Jesus You're like, what? Christ, fucking. Put no, but you brought it up. Like, how do you feel about it? Uh, as a as. Receiving, obviously. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, As a receiver. I had to do a joke in the act about having a finger in my butt. It's really? Fine. Yeah. I've had a couple fingers in my butt. Two, of the, two at a time? I've never... No, I don't think so. Yeah. You don't, I don't what? ask too many questions. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I just let them... Whatever they're going to do. Uh, I've never... It's... Whenever it happens, I'm like, eh. I'm not, like, blown away by yeah. this. Like, I'm not going to build my life around this. Neil, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Um, you don't strike me as someone who is blown away by anything. <laughs> so this, the, I No offense taken. Go okay. Ahead. So how do you know if you like if something? If you're asking me, I... If I, your joy level is, like, I a had four... A, I went to a urologist yeah. 18 years ago. That's how long my, I've had erectile dysfunction. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I told you the joke that on Chappelle show, we, me, I had erectile dysfunction and I was like, dude, I can't because it was so stressful. And, yeah, you're editing goes, no, man, we're, we got a, it's because we're using laptops. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, dummy, we're both <laughs> fucking stressed to our, ad- you're like a week from Africa. <laughs> um, you know, it's a good lesson because everyone now just thinks they're right all the time yeah. and they don't want to be wrong it's like go do something and then come back to it maybe yeah. you're not New York's right the greatest city in the world like yeah. where else would you live like ah no way I don't need to like, yeah. how would you say it's a great right. the best pizza's not even New York it's in New Jersey yeah or Connecticut or Connecticut yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's Chinese is in Jersey it's like you're cra- You're not right. right you have no knowledge 
of the world in order to make that idea. It's something that, it's like this imperiousness everyone has. Like they issue these edicts as if it's like law, as if it's final, as if nobody's human and makes mistakes or grows or learns new things. Like You learned something new, that word imperious. You used it twice today. I've I used it. it. I think that's the seventh time. Oh, really? <laughs> I think I used it four times in the car. <laughs> Dude, I, I noticed. I was like, oh, that's a big word. And now it's like, ah, enough. It's been nagging at me. You definitely just learned a word. <laughs> I, probably, I looked that up this morning. <laughs> I was like, that'll be good to say at the podcast. <laughs> that sounds smart. <laughs> Does anyone refuse to take their shoes off? No I one guess. will come in. They will, you just won't let them in. For for not taking the shoes off, second, if you're that ambivalent, am I using that word right? Maybe. If you're that like disrespectful to in somebody's home, what makes them feel safe and comfortable where you're like, fuck this. It's like, I don't want you fucking here. I know, but what if they just did it? Well, what if, like, imagine Larry David. And you're like, uh, you didn't tell you didn't tell me to take my shoes off. I just did it. I would have told you. But you, and I also have I also have clean socks by the door in case people don't have socks. That's nice. But um, what if you like imagine Larry David? He, okay. You didn't tell him. Ahead so of you're time. saying this example is imagine the king. The king. Not someone I like, but the king, number one. The king of Jews. Right. And he comes in. And you're like, oh hey man, would you mind taking your shoes off? But do it. I'll be Larry David. Uh, okay. Hey, uh, will you please take your shoes off? Eh. Funny, I love that energy, but I really have a thing. I have OCD, and it's I'm, I need you to. Uh, it's not really my thing. Take your shoes off. I, I have the um, foot covers. That's the best thing I could do. I don't, I don't he think wouldn't so. do that. There's no way he would do that's, that. That's, I felt. I felt him. I felt There's him no channeling way. through me. Let's get him on I the phone. Totally see him. Get him get, on the phone. I'll get Larry David on the phone. Do you know him? You're Hollywood. I do. And I've never called him. And we texted twice. Well, I texted him twice. He texted me back. You're going to call in a favor of Larry David just to find out how he'd feel about these shoes. I don't feel like it's a favor as much as I feel like it's a game that that is a game both that he would like to play, but also like he, you're saying this is his point of view. I'm saying yeah. strongly, I think he's more empathetic than this. Nah, if he's not into taking a shot, I could see him going like, I don't sing happy birthday. He refuses to sing happy birthday as everybody's yelling. That's, that's curb your enthusiasm, Larry. That's him. That's what he wants to be. That's who he is. Really not getting service right now? Oh, you Wait. Idiot. There we go. Come on. What are the chances of him answering? I'm actually so nervous right now. Because even if he doesn't answer, he saw a missed call. Also, does he have your number saved? He's he texted gave- me once. He's texted me back once. He liked my show as we see it. And he talked to me about and it. forwarded to an automatic voice. Motherfucker. Wow. Wow. Forwarded. That doesn't mean, hello, this is a voicemail. Forwarded. That means he's doing something too important, like leaving his shoes on. He's busy leaving his shoes on. Dude. <laughs> I want to slap I really want to. I really want thing. I I almost want to ask. You know what I might do? What? And if so, we'll cut to it here. I might ask, set, tell him the situation and ask him what he would do. And maybe he could send a video and I'll just cut to it. So we'll cut to it and we'll come back and we'll do a response. Larry David is going to send you a fucking video of how he'd handle your, your request with his lunacy. I can't tell by your tone. Are you yelling at me? I've raised my voice. Do you think it's he's, a disbelieving raising? Of do you the think voice. he's more or more willing to take his shoes off for me or send me the video? <sighs> That's a good question. Thank you. I really want him to. I, I did say, could you call me for something? It's time sensitive. And now I'm like really f- literally phoning it in with this man. You're phoning it in. Yeah, like that's not when to use it. I didn't think it was a favor until that. I mean, text. You're, imagine you're in a you're like in a pitch, and you're like, "What if we get Larry David's touch?" You're like, "I think I've <laughs> fuck. I don't think I can call him. I just called him about something else, <laughs> and I should not have used." What'd this you up. call him for? <sighs> I had a guy at my house, and he thought that Larry wouldn't take his shoes off. Well, that's ridiculous. Of course, he would take his shoes off. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to prove it to this guy. Okay. Well, that makes total sense. We'll buy your show. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That's, is that how you celebrate? Yeah. Dan knows the task right now. He's pretending to be Chappelle, talking to Fox News about being- uh, The state you know, of comedy. Yes. The state of the state comedy, of comedy free speech. Fighting PC culture. You're if, you're, the if the closest thing you have to a brother, Louis J. Gomez, <laughs> happens to come up, <laughs> feel, free, feel free to roll with that for a little bit. <laughs> Just throwing it back to Lewis over and over is so funny. All right, all right, all right. I'm m- muting and now adding call. Shh. Wait, we can be cool. We can talk. But be quiet. You can't link till she answers, so shut know up, that. Shut up, dude. Shut up. This is so Shh. funny. Everyone be quiet. It's not muted. Shut up, Dave. No. Oh, it's so loud. Shh. Shh. Oh, my God, dude. 
Oh, hey, Dave, how are you? Hello? Hello? Hi, how are you doing? Hey, I'm good. I'm, I'm on a train, so apologies. Can you hear me? <laughs> oh, it's quite all right. I'm outside. I just want to call you real quick because I know I only have about four minutes. That's okay. I have like 1% battery. <laughs> oh, well, I just I, I wanted to get in quick and talk to you about Luis J. Gomez. Easily one of the funniest people I've ever met in my life. Yes. I mean, that man is very important to me. He is like a brother. Yes. I've been with him through thick and thin. We have established a, a connection that is a bond that is unbreakable. Yes. I would honestly say I'd take a bullet for Louis J. <laughs> yeah, no, he was incredible. I mean, I met him at Gas Digital, and he was so influential. Gas Digital is uh, is crazy how hard I've seen him work on it and how incredible. The, the one problem is, is the website. I keep telling him, I say, Louis. You gotta <laughs> fix the website. I'm gonna tell you right now, I have seen a lot of this stuff in comedy. And Lewis is easily, I, a lot of people call him a Puerto, Puerto Rican rattlesnake. I would say he is a Puerto Rican giant. He's a giant man. I've yeah. seen him, I've seen him dead hundreds of women. I've seen him <laughs> throw on comedy festivals that are so legendary that people got diseases. This man has done more for comedy than anybody in the world. And his yeah. son, his son James, if he doesn't eat, Lewis will rip someone's head off. <laughs> well, I love that. Um, I mean, he was incredibly kind, too, which was another thing. He oh, he the sweetest man. I have him in my phone too. as Lewis the Peach because he's a true peach. <laughs> Yeah, he was very generous. I mean, he led us into his entire studio. He has to tour. pretend this is all normal. <laughs> he, he, he was just incredibly, incredibly generous. What's incredible is that he actually campaigned for Joe Biden, which I find very, a lot of people don't know that. Oh, that's a lot good. of people don't know, yeah, Lewis is very liberal, almost, yeah. danger, almost dangerously liberal. Yeah, he, um, I actually, you know, what, you know what I like about that, though, because first of all, it's good to get people that aren't just super conservative, especially working for someone like Tucker, because then it gets the message out even stronger. Just, Tucker has my number. <laughs> told me that he doesn't even believe in science when it comes to sex. He says that's how liberal he is. He believes we're all just a mishmash different bag of body parts. Oh, God, that's funny. <laughs> it's insane. I'm telling you right now, it's almost like he's sick in the head, but he's a good <laughs> man. Again, Louis the Peach. Yeah, no, no, I love him. And he, um, you know, obviously said the same about you when I mentioned. And I know, Dave, I mean, obviously you get a thousand million. What's the thing about him and he won't let her? The guy in comedy. Um, and your oh, SNL oh. monologue, by the way, was, I mean, the fact that obviously you're a genius at your comedy, but the fact that you have the courage. I don't, don't even, honestly, uh, honestly, I just, the second Lewis reached out, I said, <laughs> I have to talk to him. I have to talk to anybody who's friends with Lewis because I love him like a brother. <laughs> His MMA training reminds me of Rocky and Rocky IV. He just always, you know, and what's great about Lewis is he can get so fat and then he can get so muscular. Oh, he was in really good shape. We went there. Oh, we yeah, but that. Though. He was in great shape. Yeah, he, he fluctuates. That's why I'm worried about Lewis. I'm worried about his fluctuation in weight. Oh, man. Well, he did. Well, I'll tell you from experience from a week and a half ago, he was looking very good. So. Okay. Uh, he's good. Because I know that sometimes he gets in, 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 in incredibly emotional about things. I no, love him so much. Yeah, no, he, so he basically, we had this idea for, a, um, you know, it's a documentary episode. It's like a 30-minute episode on exploring comedy right now because... <laughs> Obviously, with woke culture and cancel culture, there's so many. Which Lewis is behind, I must say. Lewis is behind that. Well, he, so, he acts like he isn't, but he is. He loves woke culture. So, when, but the interesting thing, when I interviewed him, his insight into what was happening, like, changed our entire premise of the documentary. It was about how, Good. like, the sanctuaries are existing for comics to still do, like, real, unfiltered comedy. Because live comedy has always been 
you know, the dangerous, edgy comedy. You don't know what's going to happen once you're on stage, right? So exactly. He, you don't know what, but you know what you're going to get with Louis J. Gomez. You're going to yeah. get a man that stands up for people. You're going to get a man that fluctuates dangerously in weight. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, he definitely I just wish you would stop having such a aggressive foot fetish. If you want to see pictures of your feet, just politely decline. Because I told you the fluctuation in weight mixed with the people like that can be very dangerous. <laughs> well, now I'm, now I'm wondering, I'm like, were my feet not good enough? I, I uh, she wanted the fuck, dude. If you show me your toes, just get ready for him to lose his goddamn mind. And if you wiggle him, he'll probably come his pants. Listen, oh my God, so I gotta go. You've been very nice. I'm sorry I gotta run, but I was not no. talking to you. And uh, totally well, hopefully I'll reach out. Yeah, um, are you going to think about it at all? It would be like a I'll think interview. about it, and I'll let you know. I'm going to think about Lewis a little bit more, too, but I got to go. <laughs> okay. well, I and, uh, and we'll talk soon. Absolutely. Goodbye. Thank you so much, Dave. <laughs>